welcome back friends and from now on in this tutorial we'll be talking about iron input so actually i am talking about these different types of elements and trying to implement implement it in a web app and showing it to you so that basically you all can see not just the functionality part of these different elements but also how you can just combine or weave them together to, to make a whole new web app so now talking about iron input if you just go on to the iron input docs out here here so we see that the iron input belongs to the iron elements category of the polymer and now if you just go into the docs of iron input we see here that iron input builds on top of input it input element of the html itself and it has got some basic fun, uh, kind of more functionalities other than the input element of html such as it supports two way data binding and it has got some custom validators so talking of validators this actually means that input uh, with this iron input element you can just specify whether the data you want to be allowed in the in the input element would be like in the range of something like you can allow only characters or only integers or something like that so if you just go into the demo here we can see that if we try to write 1 2 3 4 we can uh, we see that this thing works and if we try to type something like characters we see this thing doesn't work i am actually typing characters right now in my keyboard so here we see that it is clearly stated that only these things these characters would work and the rest would not so that's that's what actually validators are for okay and so now now we'll see uh, we'll just talk about why we'll use rn input in our web app so talking of the web app you can see that this web app fetches data from the server through ajax and in case you haven't seen those tutorials please go back to the to the earlier tutorials where we i show you how to make the web app and now you can see that the web app is working fine but one thing to note out here is that in this web app we don't have the th uh, basic functionalities like selecting the city or choosing the city or kind of choosing the number of days of forecast we want so for the uh, for the for this web app so for this these all functionalities we'll have to type in and we'll have to have some space where we can type in the name of the city or the number of days we want the input and so to do so we'll have have to introduce something like an input element something like would something that would take in like text or something like that to the web app but instead of using the native html input element we'll go on to extend our knowledge with the iron input element of the polymer and then see what what things we can achieve with it so from the next tutorial onwards we'll dive right into the code itself and see how the iron input element works with all those validators and custom two way data bindings so meet you in the next tutorial and definitely subscribe to the channel because this helps us uh, helps us a lot and like the video if you like it and leave your comments and comments in the dis uh, discussion form below and thank you